Imagine a home that never pays an electricity bill. A home that doesn't just conserve energy. It creates it endlessly. Now picture Elon Musk, the world's loudest advocate for renewable energy, stopping in his tracks, stunned by what he's just witnessed. These aren't sci-fi prototypes. They're real, and they could rewrite the future of how humanity powers its most intimate spaces, our homes. So, what makes these wind power homes so revolutionary that even Musk himself had to react? And could this technology threaten the dominance of solar power and even Tesla's own energy vision? This story begins in a coastal laboratory where engineers ask a deceptively simple question. What if every home could be its own wind farm without the massive spinning blades you see in fields? The result? Micro wind architecture. Invisible turbines built directly into rooftops and walls, capable of generating power even in gentle breezes. Unlike solar panels that sleep at night, these homes harvest energy around the clock. And when Elon Musk first saw the data, insiders say he was shocked. Not because he doubts renewable tech, but because these homes just outperformed expectations by orders of magnitude. Traditional wind turbines rely on open fields and strong gusts. But this design flips the script. It miniaturizes wind capture into vertical and horizontal ducts built into the home structure. The result? A silent, vibration-free system that converts even mild breezes into usable energy. Combine that with smart energy storage, compact batteries built right into walls, and these homes become fully self-sustaining ecosystems. No grid. No blackouts. No monthly bills. When footage of these homes reached Musk's desk, his immediate response was reportedly one word. Interesting. But within days, Tesla engineers began analyzing the concept, wondering, could micro wind and solar coexist in a single energy system? The answer could reshape Tesla's energy roadmap and perhaps spark a quiet rivalry in the renewable space. If scaled, these homes don't just power themselves. They could feed excess electricity back into neighborhoods, transforming entire communities into self-sufficient microgrids. In developing nations, where infrastructure costs cripple progress, this could leapfrog decades of energy development. For families in storm-prone regions, wind-powered homes can keep lights on when the grid fails. For cities choking on carbon emissions, this is a silent revolution. Solar once seemed like the end game, but maybe the future isn't about one source of energy. Maybe it's about building homes that generate their own lifeblood, no matter where they stand. Elon Musk is watching closely, and so should we. As news of these wind-powered homes spreads, governments and corporations worldwide are quietly paying attention. In Europe, where energy independence has become urgent, Policymakers are exploring subsidies for integrating this technology into future housing codes. Meanwhile, in Asia, developers see an opportunity to create entire smart cities powered by micro-wind networks. But perhaps the most surprising interest comes from unexpected players, oil companies. Insiders reveal that some of the world's largest fossil fuel giants are already filing patents on similar technologies, preparing for a seismic shift they can no longer ignore. Yet, for all its promise, this technology isn't without hurdles. Critics question whether microwind can generate enough energy in low-wind urban areas. Others raise concerns about durability. Can these systems withstand decades of exposure without constant maintenance? But here's the twist. Early tests reveal something extraordinary. When combined with even modest solar panels, these homes produce up to 40% more energy than they consume, even in average weather conditions. That surplus energy? It's banked or shared with nearby homes, creating a true community power grid. And what about Elon Musk? While Tesla's core focus has been solar roofs and power walls, sources hint at quiet research teams exploring hybrid wind solar modules. Some speculate a future Tesla home, a fully off-grid package integrating EV charging, energy storage, and micro-wind capture. If Musk makes that leap, the energy race won't just be about cars or rockets anymore. It'll be about who controls the very air around our homes. The question isn't if this will happen, it's how fast. Will wind-powered homes remain a niche marvel? Or are we standing at the edge of a revolution that will make power plants obsolete? One thing's certain, the winds of change have only just begun to blow.
Far from the headlines, experimental wind power communities are already rising. One of the first is being quietly constructed along Africa's eastern coastline, a location chosen for its steady sea breezes and minimal grid infrastructure. Here, entire neighborhoods are designed to operate without a single external power line. Engineers are calling it a living laboratory. Every rooftop, every wall, even the fences, are embedded with microturbines. Real-time data is beamed back to research centers in Europe and California, where energy efficiency is being tracked hour by hour. But if history has taught us anything, it's that innovation rarely stays secret for long. In China, manufacturing giants have already reverse-engineered similar designs, promising to mass-produce micro-wind homes at a fraction of the cost. Their goal? To export millions of units across Asia and Africa and dominate a market that barely existed a year ago. This aggressive move could spark a new energy arms race, not for cars, not for batteries, but for the very architecture of tomorrow's cities. Publicly, Musk remains cautious. Privately, rumors swirl of a skunk works division deep inside Tesla Energy experimenting with hybrid wind solar roofs. Leaked documents hint at a prototype capable of generating power 24-7, storing excess in next-generation batteries, and syncing seamlessly with Tesla vehicles. If true, this could be the most ambitious home energy project since the invention of the power grid itself. But here's where things get even more fascinating. Because the first real test of this technology won't happen in Silicon Valley or Beijing. It's happening somewhere no one expected. Weeks after the pile of homes were completed, nature delivered an unplanned trial. A tropical storm, stronger than predicted, barreled toward the test island. For engineers, it was the ultimate nightmare or the perfect experiment. As winds howled past 120 kilometers per hour, most conventional power systems would fail. Yet these homes? Their embedded turbines thrived. Every gust funneled more energy into the walls, keeping lights, communications, and even refrigeration running as the storm raged. By morning, the world took notice. Images of intact, self-powered homes amidst widespread destruction went viral. Headlines called them the first invincible houses. Energy experts labeled the storm a turning point in disaster resilience. And when reporters asked Elon Musk for comment, his cryptic reply only fueled speculation. This is interesting, but it's only the beginning. In the aftermath, governments from island nations to inland megacities began making calls. Contracts worth billions are rumored to be in negotiation, not just for homes, but entire wind-integrated neighborhoods. Developers are already sketching blueprints for wind-powered skyscrapers, highways, even farms. And quietly, whispers suggest Musk's team is preparing something unexpected, a bold collaboration, or maybe a direct challenge, to the very inventors of this micro-wind breakthrough. But just as momentum builds, a shocking twist emerges, a rival technology that can make both wind and solar obsolete surfaces from an unlikely source, quantum energy capture. Just as wind-powered homes begin to dominate headlines, whispers surface of a radical new breakthrough, quantum energy capture. Unlike wind or solar, which rely on weather and daylight, this technology taps into the constant fluctuations of quantum fields themselves, effectively harvesting energy from a very fabric reality. First unveiled by an obscure startup in Singapore, the prototype is barely the size of a shoebox, yet reportedly powers an entire apartment indefinitely. No turbines, no panels, no moving parts. When Elon Musk learns of this claim, insiders describe him as uncharacteristically quiet. For a man known for bold declarations, silence often means something far more serious. Analysis. Could this be the final evolution of clean energy? Or is it another overhyped claim destined to collapse under scrutiny? For Musk, one thing is certain. If it's real, Tesla cannot afford to ignore it. Weeks later, a private jet lands in Singapore under heavy secrecy. Leaked manifests suggest senior Tesla engineers were on board. Their mission? To examine the quantum prototype firsthand and determine if it's the missing link that could end the global energy race overnight. What they discover inside that lab remains classified, but sources close to the team hint it's something extraordinary, a device that doesn't just power homes. It could power entire cities from a single installation. News of Tesla's interest leaks igniting a frenzy. 
Wind power advocates scramble to defend their technology. Solar giants prepare counteroffers. Meanwhile, governments, terrified of missing out, begin bidding wars for access to prototype. The world's three greatest energy revolutions, wind integrated homes, Tesla's hybrid systems, and quantum capture, are now on a collision course. But what no one expects is who will make the first move. A player no one saw coming, about to trigger an energy conflict that could change the balance of power on Earth and beyond. The mysterious challenger isn't a government. It isn't Tesla. It isn't even a corporation. It's a coalition, a group of renegade engineers, scientists, and energy activists operating from an abandoned military base in Greenland. Their goal? To bypass patents, bypass politics, and release open-source energy tech to the entire world for free. Calling themselves Aurora, this collective believes humanity can't wait for billion-dollar corporations to monetize clean energy. They've hacked into wind designs, quantum blueprints, and even Tesla's research, combining them into a single radical prototype. In a bold move, Aurora livestreams their first demonstration, a small village powered entirely by their hybrid system, wind ducts, solar membranes, and a quantum core no bigger than a briefcase. For seven days straight, the village thrives off pure energy, immune to storms, darkness, and even sabotage attempts. The video garners billions of views. Public opinion shifts overnight. Energy, once controlled by giants, suddenly feels liberated. Elon Musk finally breaks his silence, posting a cryptic message. If energy becomes free, what happens next? The tweet sparks global debate. Is Musk preparing to collaborate with Aurora or crush them? Behind closed doors, Tesla accelerates its own secret project. Codename Helios, a next-gen hybrid energy home designed to outmatch anything Aurora or Quantum Labs can build. Within months, the world divides into three camps. Aurora's open-source radicals, Tesla's corporate loyalists, and governments clinging to old energy monopolies. Hackers battle corporations. Patents vanish into the dark web. Energy infrastructure, the backbone of modern civilization, teeters on the brink of collapse and rebirth. And as the world fights over Earth's last energy frontier, Aurora reveals their most shocking ambition yet, exporting their technology beyond Earth itself to power the first permanent human colony on Mars. The energy race is no longer about homes. It's about who will control the lifeblood of humanity's future on Earth in orbit and on other worlds. Months later, the world's eyes fix on one place, Mars. SpaceX's first permanent colony is nearing completion, powered by Tesla's hybrid wind-solar network. But Aurora has other plans. In secret, they've smuggled their quantum core aboard a cargo vessel, a technology powerful enough to make the colony fully energy-independent forever. Tensions boil over as the first settlers arrive. Will Musk allow open-source technology to coexist with Tesla's infrastructure? Or will he risk fracturing humanity's first off-world society to maintain control? In an unprecedented broadcast watched by billions, Musk addresses both Earth and Mars. Energy is not a product. It's a birthright. If this technology works, we share it. For the first time in history, corporate open source and governmental factions agree. Humanity's survival outweighs profit. The quantum core is activated on Mars. Lights flood the colony. No wind, no solar, no fuel, just pure, limitless energy harvested from the quantum fabric of the universe itself. Back on Earth, wind power homes and hybrid systems become stepping stones integrated into the new global grid, a grid where no one pays, no one controls, and no one is left behind. In the end, the greatest revolution wasn't technological, it was philosophical. For the first time, energy stopped being a commodity and became a shared inheritance for all humanity. From the winds of Earth to the silent void of Mars, we finally learned the future was never about power. It was about freedom.